My name's Terrence. I'm from Sheridan on the west side. Growing up was cool for me. Like, um, I'm fortunate enough to have both my parents together. You know, my parents was married. I got, you know, older brothers, you know, older cousins. I, I'm, I'm the baby of the family, so I grew up around a lot of older people, which made me mature much fast. I attend Central Catholic High School. I say I'm like a hardworking student. I might not be like the fastest learner. I'm not really good in math, but I take that time out and I study and I make sure I get it right. So at the end, I work hard. So my grades are straight. At school, it's like, it's big on football. So a lot of athletes get recognition, but you know, a scholar really don't get enough recognition. So bro. How you? Yeah. And it's just, it's like everybody glorified these athletes and just like don't care about what the scholar goes through. It's not easy to get these good grades. It's hard work, which comes with sports too, with like athletes and like the troubled youth. You know, a lot of kids get in trouble or they live like a negative lifestyle. They get more acknowledgement than someone like me. You know what I mean? I see girls, everybody applaud these young men that's out here not really doing what they should, but it's just like, they getting all the glory, all the recognition. And it's just like, no one, not a lot of people <laughs> applaud me for what I'm doing. I definitely feel like I should get more attention. Um, it's kind of like, I think of it like, a lot of bad gets, a lot of bad things get attention. You know, like if you do bad in school, your mom, they'll call your mom, but when you do good, they don't never call your mom when you do good. So it's just, it's like that. A lot of good don't get attention. Like gun violence is just the normal now, but it's not really our fault. Over here, you could get your hands on a gun easier than you get some nutritious food for your body. So it's like, that's all we know. We don't got nothing else. We don't got no rec center over here. We don't got a lot of good food spots. It's all, all junk. So, you know, we get holding on guns and drugs way faster than we can on something positive. My solution to uh, improve the epidemic of gun violence is more positive things to do and more positive leaders. I feel like, like in my case, I was blessed to have a family that uplifted me and supported me and helped me channel my energy to positive things. And a lot of kids don't have that. These kids have some a role model or parents to help them channel their energy to do something positive and they'll start being positive. It's not a lot of leadership in the black community. Just that's why everybody you know, they follow after each other. They doing whatever they want. Um, you know, back in the day, there used to be like leadership rules. There's no rules anymore. People just going, everybody wilding. I feel like the programs, you know, certain programs do help, but a lot of like charity and stuff, a lot of that don't come back to the hood. The programs that help is the ones that's really in the hood and helping the kids in their like one-on-one -on -one contact with the kids growing up in this predicament. You can't just say you helping, but you don't want to come to the hood. You got to come to the hood and help. I think the real people that's actually doing the work in the community don't get the funding they deserve. I um, feel like a lot of the funding either go to someone's pocket or go to these organizations that could care less. You know what I mean? They want to help us, um, young black youth like myself, which I don't need that much help. The help is for the brothers that, you know, they ain't living a positive life. You need to help them out. I definitely um, feel that temptation to do something negative sometimes. You know, it's like I'm hurting. I don't got, I don't got the money I feel like I deserve, or like the money that I want. So it's like, man, I'm broke. Let me just, I might just do this. But then I gotta think like it's just gonna lead down to a, a lot of, a lot of situations that I don't want to be involved in. I start having those negative thoughts. I do. I definitely um. I try, I try to just think positive. I listen to like some positive music. I probably listen to some, you know, Cole, Kendrick. I probably talk to Leon. You know what I mean, he will help me steer me back where on the right path. As a young black intelligent male, I definitely feel like um, my voice matters. I don't feel like it matters as much. I don't feel like it's being heard as it should, but you know, there's a change in that. Like with Leon, he making our voices heard. Books Over Bands is a movement, you know, Leon started with a hashtag that, I, um, it like moved me to really push it. You know, just like we, we read, like, and 
you know, reading is like more important than money to us because money don't really mean anything. So like, but knowledge is power. You know, knowledge is everlasting. That money come and go. For the future, uh, I want to go to Clark Atlanta University and double major in business finance and political science. Leon Ford inspires me just to be a better person, an avid reader, uh, a leader, show love. Um, actually try to help people, you know, even in the situation he's in, he never stopped trying to help people. We always helping people. And I remember this one tweet when you had say everybody wanna be a rapper and play gangster. How about we try to be more like Malcolm X, Huey P. Newton, and um you said Stokely Carmark Carmark and you know stand up for something. So that's what I'm trying to do, stand up for something.